Hello everybody, it's Jordan here with another, bringing you another movie review. This one is The Born Legacy. Now, I have been looking forward to this movie for, since pretty much it was announced that Jeremy Renner was going to be in Born. And yeah, <laughs> that was enough for me, because during a bit, um, I was a huge fan of uh, Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, and uh, he was awesome in The Avengers. So, I was super excited for that. Um, I'm also a huge fan of the Bourne movies. Even though they are admittedly really, really confusing and just baffling overall. Um, they're still awesome movies. And um, this is the worst of the pack. I'm not saying it's a bad movie. I'm just saying that it's probably the bottom. It's it's the least best. I don't want to say it's the worst because it's still a decent movie, but the entire thing of this movie is that it's Aaron Cross, this new um, agent for... I don't know if he's... That's the thing with this movie. Um, the biggest problem with it is nothing is explained. All of the mysteries surrounding this movie isn't explained. It, it, it just isn't. They don't make a point of really... They just... I felt like watching this, they kind of wanted you to be confused so that you would come and see the next one. Because you know that there's going to be a next one. Because there's so many open doors left, and nothing is explained. Like, so there's this guy, Aaron Cross, and he's a... I don't know, he's like some experiment, and he's like... In the Antarctic, is in Alaska, which Alaska, <laughs> yeah, right. The movie was actually filmed in Alberta, Canada. Yeah, <laughs> um, it's not Alaska. Um, he's actually, um, and he's like in this in the Alaska, and he's like surviving. He's like making his way to this cabin where there's this other guy, and he's taking like these pills. These, like, steroid pills. Like, I don't know what they are. And, um, these blues and greens and stuff. It's all, it's all just convoluted. The entire thing, story-wise, is a convoluted mess. Good luck understanding any of it. Um, the, it's very, very similar to The Born Identity. In the fact that nothing is explained. There's really isn't much of an ending. And, uh, you know, it just, it just, there's, it leaves the door open for more, and it kind of begs for this movie to do well, so that they'll make another one. And, uh, it didn't at first, in its first week, so, but, you know. Also, one of the interesting things about this movie is that it's set place at the same time as, uh, Bourne Ultimatum, which is my favorite of the Bourne movies, and, uh, it's set during the same time, so that's kind of cool, but... That isn't really utilized very well. Like, there's bits and pieces where you get to see, you know, like, that Noah Wilson guy from Ultimatum, Pamela Landy. And, uh, you see a news cast once mentioning Bourne, and you see Simon Ross get shot again in, um, this movie. But, that's it. They really don't utilize that very well at all. So, you know, there's that. But, um... The actual, this actual movie itself, aside from put it, putting the ridiculous convoluted story aside, it's got some pretty damn good action. I'll admit, it's got some pretty damn good action. Um, Aaron Cross is a badass. Um, and uh, that motorcycle chase part in the trailers is uh, every bit as cool as it looks in the trailers. <laughs> um, the movie itself actually has some pretty good action, there's some good fight scenes. It does remind you of the the original Borns, though, where it's, you know, um, where it's, you know, there's the good action, and he does, um, yeah, and it's, 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 it's just the action's good, the story's a mess. Jeremy Renner, the actual acting itself is pretty decent. Jeremy Renner does well with what he's given. But what he's given is not very good. Aaron Cross 
has almost no story moments. The only thing you know about him is that he asks too many questions. He questions the system. That's it. That's really the only kind of character development you get in this movie of anybody at all. There's no character development whatsoever in pretty much anybody's character. Even the doctor chick really doesn't have much of a character development. It's just, it's, and that's, that's a horrible missed opportunity because, you know, he seems like, it seems like it could become a pretty good series, but I was expecting more. I wasn't expecting a movie that, I wasn't expecting a movie that wants so badly to be a sequel, that wants so badly to be a trilogy that the first one is super half-assed. Because The Born Identity is a pretty decent movie, actually. So is this, but I don't think this is as good. And then you have Supremacy, which he starts to learn more and more about his past. And then you've got Ultimatum, where it all comes back to him. Um, but I just... I'm interested to see what they're going to do next, to tell you the truth. But um, right now, this just isn't enough for me. It just, it just isn't. And the ending, I'm not even going to freaking talk about the ending. It's awful. Because in Born Identity, you know, there's actually a resolution to it. Um, like, you know, I'm not going to say it because I don't want to give away spoilers if you, haven't, if you haven't seen that movie. But there's actually a bit of a resolution to it. You can, I, like, it's not the last one, of course, and it does want to be sequels, but it's not like this movie where it wants so badly to be a trilogy. It's just, it's, that you can tell in the ending. It just, in the ending, one of the funny things about it is that it happens so fast. You feel like, because Born Identity, you kind of see it coming, right? You just see, okay, this is the end. This is what's going on. This is the end of the movie. But Born Legacy, you do not see it coming. You do not see the ending coming, and it just goes like that. You hear that song come in, from all the credits past, you just hear it come in, and it's just like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, it just ends, just like that. So, yeah, it just, this movie ultimately was a disappointment, and um, I'm interested to see more, but right now this just isn't enough. That's why my score for The Porn Legacy is going to be a 5 out of 10. So, yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe, whatever. And uh, look out for my next review.